And uh, at this point, we've got a new, a new area to check out. It's the Volcanic Caverns. Oh, well, uh, uh, that was bad. Well, yeah. Sometimes you just try to platform, but instead you mat form. Which isn't even a real thing. So that's extra pathetic. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is kind of one of the end game areas of the game. You can consider it. Oh, nice. Got pack up. It's got some pretty intense foes. And uh, the uh, the boss of this area is pretty ridiculous. And we got another Easter egg. But it's also kind of a small area. All right, we got the fire orb. It doesn't tell us what it does there, but basically we do collision damage to enemies now. And whenever we run out of SP, the uh, the fireballs will appear around us for a little bit. It's not the most useful item, but it can help a little bit. Also, it can uh, destroy certain blocks, ice blocks to be precise. Yeah, nothing in there. There's uh, there's this room, which doesn't really have anything in it, actually. They, they may as well have just walled this section off, because uh, that spike pit doesn't lead to anything. And then there's this room, which we're actually coming in it from the wrong side. So let's just move out. There we go. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here. Nope. Nothing of note. Uh, okay. Yeah, those, uh, the, the little energy ball enemies will be appearing quite a bit in the near future. And they have a lot of health. But yeah, with that, there's only, there's only one room in this little section to deal with. Well, pretty much. And, uh, and then there's this room over here, but... We'll be coming back to this area later. Like, a lot later, actually. So we can just move up this way. Oh, no, we, we can't go up there. That's a down path. Exclusively. Oh my gosh. I just came in and wrecked everything. Nope. Oh my gosh. I, I cannot get this jump all of a sudden. There we go. The jumps getting out of here can be surprisingly annoying at times. That's, uh, that's why you want your double jump. All right. Oh, may as well just wait for this to happen. While lasering someone. And I can just laser them from here. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the the sunbeam really helps out a lot in this room. Because it makes you not have to deal with anything. Also, we have lots of bunny girls with bombs. And lots of things that break from bombs. So that's dangerous. Alright. So we have a warp point here. And it's a good thing that there's a warp point there. Because it's boss time. Alright, time for Coach Round 3! 
And, uh, yeah, the, uh, this is the fire user, <coughs> the fire user of the game. The, uh, the game has no dedicated fire user, so it's, it's just Kotri. Which, uh, honestly, that's kind of disappointing. Because I, I really like fire users. It's great. All right, but yeah, we are, we are shaving her health down fast. But yeah, this, this attack, probably one of the most dangerous attacks in the game. Because if those things hit you, the burn status effect will be applied to you, and you'll just take a lot of damage over time. Oh man, but I am dodging it like a pro right now! Oh, that, oh, oh, okay, can't dodge that now, there we go. <laughs> With that move, you have to uh, essentially dodge it pretty early. Oh, I barely missed. Alright. But now we got a crazy move going on. It's her special move, and she's got lava. That's right, she uses the power of lava itself. There we go, got that air dash in. And nice bunny strike. Up. Oh. Right, there's this. Alright, keeps going good. Uh oh. Yeah, I can never uh, predict whenever that attack is coming, so I always have to uh, use my. Uh, use my. Okay, we're, we're outside the room now. I mean, that fire laser move is very powerful, so she's got that going on. And Kotri is out. And she's she's uh, joined the she's joined the town now. And <laughs> it just blinked us out of there. There we go. Got to make sure that that connection is established. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to want the, uh, the yellow laser, actually. So, yeah, this is an incredibly dangerous room. You got the bunny girls who are going to be dropping their bombs all over the place. And basically every part of the floor is destroyable by bomb. That said, there is an item somewhere among all of this. Down here at the bottom. Well, that didn't, doesn't seem like that was quite it. Maybe it's this one. There is a flower down here. No. Maybe it's this one. Maybe I did get it, because it did sound like I collected something, but... Odd. Because I don't think it's, uh, one of these. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, there's something down here, for sure. Yes. Health! So many of these things look like you can destroy them, but then you can't. Oh yeah, gotta be careful. Those, uh, those little floating red things can't actually be destroyed. They're just hazards. And, uh, they're very hazardous, especially right here. So let's just move on with our lives and ignore them. There we go! Mushrooms are gone. Keep messing up. There we go. Seriously, there's nothing here? Huh. Okay. Hmm. 
And uh, here we go. We're back at the beach area again. We just keep ending up back over here, don't we? Let's uh, let's try to go back to the warp point. Gee whiz, 19 damage. Yeah, that's damage scaling for ya. Oh, oh, there's... Okay. Nice. Just... Just found that. Here we go. Alright, so let's go back to Rabby Rabby Town again. See if we can upgrade anything. Let's see here. So we have quite a few things here. Uh, can we upgrade the wall jump? Yes, we can. Let's try to upgrade this one first. There we go. Now we have maximum wall jumps. Uh, let's upgrade the bunny whirl. And let's upgrade the hammer wave. And, oh, we can also upgrade the fire orb. Nice. Yeah, what, what do the fire orb upgrades do exactly? Fireball... Attack increase, fireball attack increase. Okay, so not a whole lot, but at least we have one upgrade on that. All right, uh, where to next? Let's see, we could go there. Ah, this is definitely the place to go right now. All right, so we're going into ice areas. I know, my worst enemy, the cold. We're taking it on head on. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna start by sort of clearing out this section here a little bit. We aren't going into into any of the underwater areas right now. We'll save that for later. But there is some stuff that we can do around here at least. Oh, nice. Oh, there's there's a, an attack up there. I I have completely forgotten about this location, so I was honestly not sure what I was going to find in there. I feel like I can do something over here. No? Nothing? All right. Oh, that... Okay, can't go up that way. That's a down path. Well, let's just keep going this way. And let's see what's down here. Oh, there's somebody. And some more money for us. Alright, come on. There's got to be something else around here. I just completely don't remember this section of the game at all. Just this pathway. Oh, it's Evernight Peak. Yeah, we'll come back here later. 